Hello everybody, thanks for joining me. Today I'm tying a traditional spider pattern called the hare's lug and plover. The hook is a size 14 partridge spider hook with a straight eye and a short shank, and the thread I'm using is primrose silk. This is a reproduction of the original Pearsall's colour. For the tag on the fly I'm using some fine gold tinsel, and for the hackle I'm using golden plover. This is an absolutely stunning feather, but it can be quite tricky to get hold of. Steve from Cooksill Fly Tying has been an excellent source for me. Now lug up north means ear, so we're going to use some hair's ear dubbing to make the body. And here's a closer look of those golden plover hackles. You can see they're flecked and tipped with gold. Really, really beautiful feather. So let's get started. I've got my thread well waxed and I'm tying in using three turns just behind the hook eye. I'm going to come in with my scissors and trim away the excess. Now there's two schools of thought as to when to tie in the hackle. I like to tie them in right at the beginning but you can also dub the body first and then tie them in at the end. It's really up to you. You can see how I've prepared the hackle. I've pulled the barbs back and made a little tip that I can tie in, and I've stripped off the fuzzies at the base of the feather so I've got a handle to grip later on. With the hackle tied in, the next job is to tie in the tinsel, and I made a loose turn over the top and drawn through the excess so there's nothing to trim. I'm going to carry that down the hook shank, stopping just in front of the barb, and advance my thread a few turns forward so I've got a nice smooth base to wrap the tinsel over. Now I'm using a moderate amount of pressure here and being very careful to avoid the hook point because this will split in an instant. I'm going to use overlapping turns and just build up a small gold tag for the fly. This is technically optional according to the original pattern but I do think that having a little bit of shine and a little bit of glimmer is only going to add to the fish attracting powers of the fly. To secure down the tinsel, making a couple of tight wraps over and then one in front, and then we can come in with our scissors and trim away the excess. I like tying spiders, I think working with these traditional game bird hackles can give some really lovely effects. For the dubbed body I'm adding a little more wax to my thread, and I'm just taking a small pinch of the hare's ear dubbing, and I'm going to lightly dub it. I don't want to make a huge big bulky body like you would on a hare's ear nymph but I want to have the suggestion of some buggy, leggy stuff going on in the body of the fly. These spiders are really all about suggestion and using simple natural materials in limited quantities and limited numbers. Really they were tied with what was available locally up in the north and I think well, that's a lovely tradition to continue. With the body dubbed, I'm now going to take my hackle pliers and we can start wrapping the hackle. Again, some people will say that you must only ever use one turn of hackle, some people say you can use two or three. I just go with what looks nice. I think that having a few extras isn't going to put off the trout, and it means that as the fly gets used and the fairly fragile game bird hackles get worn away, you've still got something that's usable. So I've made two and a half turns here, and I'm going to use my silk and secure down the end. You can see I'm bringing that through the barb so I don't trap too many. I've made one tight turn, again this is well waxed thread, remember, all the way through, and then a few turns in front to secure. That's the fly finished, so I can now come in with my whip finisher. And again, silk's a very grippy material, especially when it's waxed, so you don't need to go mad and do five, six, seven turns, three is fine. We can trim away the excess, and trim away the spare bit of the feather. Now I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning up here, aiming to get that nice umbrella shaped hackle. And after a bit of tidying up, here's the finished fly. Thanks for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this one. Do give it a go, it's a very classic pattern, especially if you can get hold of some plover. I hope you're enjoying the videos, I'm enjoying making them, and thanks for all the support. Catch you next time.